Okay, so in this quick tip, we're going to be talking about transparent materials and objects that may exist underneath those. So there's a, a few important things to understand when you're dealing with this scenario. Uh, a couple of good examples of that scenario would be a car interior uh, that has you know, a windshield and, and windows surrounding it. Another one would be maybe a screen under a cell phone of some sort uh, that has a glass cover over the top of it. So if you're ever dealing with something like that, this will be a good little quick tip for you to check out. So I have this cube existing under this little dome shape here. And I'm just going to double click that. And we'll change this from a diffuse material to a solid glass. And you should notice that something looks a little bit off. And what's going on is, you know, everything under there is rendered dark. If we go under the settings tab, there's an easy fix for this, and that's to turn on detailed indirect illumination. So notice once you do that, it brightens up the area underneath there. Another reason that that could appear dark is maybe you didn't have enough ray bounces enabled. See, if I turn this down to two, you can see it gets real dark in there. But as I start to increase this, we're allowing enough light to bounce around and fully illuminate that. When I get to around seven or eight, I'm not noticing any visual improvement, so I know I don't need to increase that anymore. But let's talk about another transparent material type. So the one we used here was a solid glass. I'm going to switch that to just the standard glass material. So I'll change this from solid glass to glass. And I'm going to go ahead and hit two-sided. Two-sided is going to allow uh, refractions, which will make this look more realistic. Okay, so you should notice an interesting difference between this material and the previous one. Let's take a look at this sharp shadow that we have that's uh, extending off from this cube. So if we look here, even though this cube is under this glass material, we still have that sharp shadow. Let's go back to the settings and let's turn off detailed indirect illumination. Okay, it does get a little bit darker in there, but we still have everything illuminated. So what's going on here is basically with the glass material, it's treated as a direct light bounce. Okay, whereas with the solid glass, it's treated as an indirect light bounce. So with the solid glass, you're going to get softer, more diffuse shadows on objects that exist underneath there. Whereas with the glass, you're still going to be able to retain those sharp shadows. So if you're ever dealing with transparent objects and you notice it looks a little dark in there, you might want to go ahead and enable detailed indirect illumination. Also check to make sure you have enough ray bounces. And if you're doing something like this and you want a sharp shadow underneath there, be sure and use the regular glass material as opposed to the solid glass. Thanks, and we'll see you next month.